joined by Marlon Devonish, who's just finished off an impressive run of sprinting this weekend. Third yesterday in the 100, and he's back that with the second me silver medal, sorry, in the 200 metres. So a great weekend for you, Marlon. Your thoughts on how it's gone? Um, I would like to have won it, to be honest. I felt comp <laughs> there was nothing, em well, that was empty after the semi-final. Because I had quite a bu busier weekend. Uh, it's last minute that I decided to do the 100. Okay. So I would have prepared slightly different. But having said that, I'm quite happy. I'm okay with that. Sure. Okay. How, talk about the weekend as a whole, because I would argue like the 100 yesterday, the 200. Is it, do you see it as a training emphasis, obviously getting prepped for these championships? Or is it, do you feel you run better in the 200 after coming back after the round yesterday in the 100? Uh, to be honest, I feel a bit flat. Okay. And um, I wasn't as prepared as I could have been. Well, to be honest, but I was happy that I still, under the three races I had yesterday, was still coming home quite strong. And my strength is very good. I can't, I can't question on my strength and my fitness. But I would like to run quicker. I need to run quicker. And the times haven't come yet, so I'm certain when I get to the champs, I'll put the times down and do what's necessary. Okay, so looking ahead now, obviously, like I say, you, you put yourself in the selectors' minds there. Yeah. What races, because you don't have a B standard from this year, do you? Sorry, is that... No, I think I've got B standards on both the 100 and 200. But I don't have um, the A standards, but I have the A standards last year. Would you like to be picked for both, sorry, is it? Or is it one or one no, two? One or the other. Um, I think the selectors are probably, their preference would be the 200. Sure. Uh, but I feel I can execute a really good 100. Okay. And the adaptation of this of this uh, weekend will only um, pay dividends. Looking ahead to those championships, not no say, big ageism or anything like that. Obviously, you're 34. No, it's right, Christian. No, this guy beat me. This guy beat me. That's the one. That's the yeah, one. Don't mind it. The over 30s. The over 30s. The over 30. Just yeah. remember that. I'm the champion. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what touch. How much do you think, obviously, your experience going into those championships? Because there's no use saying Bolt who's going to be setting world records. He's yeah, going to be opinion. ones around about the probably low 20s, yeah. which I'm thinking you're probably more than capable of. Yeah. How much does your experience over the years think go into those championships? Yeah, I can get him, get a medal from you. Oh, well, I've, I've medaled for the last four years ago. I medaled four years ago before. So the focus is to just to use my experience, use my advantage. You know, everyone uses use your strengths to your advantages. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, today I'd like to run, uh, I'm still reflecting, I'd like to run better today. No problem. Well, what, what's, what, what's next up for you then? Have you got, next are you going to be on the circuit I've now? I've got a race in Madrid, which I think twice about doing. I think I need to rest a little now. Okay. Um, I've trained quite a bit, quite aggressively before the champ, so that's all in my legs as well. So, But the way I felt before, before the semi, after the semi-final, I didn't think I was going to run. Okay, good. Well, it's, like I say, great weekend of spending, uh, Marlon, and thanks very much for talking to Thank us. Thank you very much. Thank you.